IWC headquarters is really based and located at the original, I would call it, birthplace of IWC Schaffhausen. You know, in the year 1868, American young businessman, startup businessman, Mr. Florentine Oriosto Jones, he came to Switzerland, he came to Schaffhausen because of these very good conditions of the place here and founded IWC. Over the times, the brand name International Watch Company became very famous and we added Schaffhausen also to the brain. So Schaffhausen is probably, for this reason, well known all over the world. There are a lot of innovations, interesting watches that um, have a huge impact, not only on IWC, but I would say for all Swiss, Swiss watchmaking industry. For example, in the museum, we show a timepiece that was exclusively made for the American market, where Florentine Ariosto Jones wanted to make happen a special, highly decorated case for the US market. And this is one of the highlights in our exhibition. But of course, there are other important highlights, for example, like the first generation of wristwatches, the first generation of Daiwa swatches of IWC, new materials that were firstly introduced by our brand. So for all guests, there's a lot to discover here in the museum. Here we have the really first movements of IWC that were produced here in Schaffhausen from our founder Florentin Arias to Jones and really made here in this facility where we are standing now. This is a very, very um, good combination between, let's say, um, the core values of the past and new ideas of today. So our design team really tries to combine the old design with new ideas to make the watches very, very appealing, but not forget the history. And this is, I think, very, very important if you take in mind that the brand now it's a, has got an history of about 150 years. Look at the soft iron cage we use in pilot's watches or in engineer watches. This was an idea that was born in the 1940s, but we keep this idea up with our current collection. So you see a little bit of heritage, a little bit of these special technical features is always related to 
our dedicated uh, watch families. One of the most famous is the big pilot watch from the 1930s. This watch was in use for navigators in aeroplanes, so it had to, had to be very, very precise, very, very accurate, and has a certain distinctive kind of dial, which make this watch so unique. And this uh, design, this technique, has got a lot of influence of the watches of our current pilots' pilotches. The actual movements, for example, the caliber 52, um, what is, for example, in the Portuguese watch of the current collection. It is a new movement, um, a very advanced movement with a lot of new technical features, but caliber 52 is a clearly reference to the old tradition of the pocket watch movement, um, namely the famous caliber 52 of IWC that firstly was launched in the late 1880s. So you can see this tradition of really keeping the heritage, keeping the philosophy, mix this together with new ideas is very, very important. Here are the first generation of IWC wristwatches. And a very interesting timepiece I want to show you is uh, the Portuguese watch from the late 1930s, which was a great success in this time. And a very important feature is the movement, for example. Here we have a beautiful caliber 74 pocket watch movement with a very, very nice decoration, finger bridge movement that made this watch so interesting for the collectors and all IWC collectors fans. A good watchmaker should have a lot of patience. He should have uh, concentration. He should bring concentration with him. Of course, dexterity, good eyes, good fingers. Um, but the primary tool that he should have is understanding what he's doing and patience to be able to understand how the movement works or how a complication works. I would compare it to anything that you do with passion. For example, building a musical instrument or uh, building a car, a fine car. Anything that has to do with hand craftsmanship. Watchmaking is hand craftsmanship and therefore it takes a certain amount of time as you would, for example, a beautiful violin or a piano or a race car. Something that you invest a lot of time with. Engineering, that's the key. As you can see in all our watches, from the beginning, from the first generation of pocket watches to the current collection, this kind of idea of engineering watches, technology, values like preciseness, this is always a very, very important pillar of our collection. So with this claim, engineered for men, um, we really want to make this statement for the collection.